Welcome to another nighttime mission log of the Helios 11 solar powered explorer yacht that I built by hand and now I'm sailing it down from the cold and dark winter of the north toward the warmth of the Mediterranean. I started from southern Finland, now I'm on the coastline of Sweden near Irland. It's a wonderful feeling standing here in the captain's cabin, seeing only the horizon and some lights from the city right in front of me. Now that I've been on this journey in the dark for over a week, I've realized that I've been kind of stubborn with the 100% solar capacity as well as the ultra lightweight of this boat. So now I could actually add 150 kilos of mass to the boat and it would still be an ultra lightweight cruiser and that would tremendously increase the performance. We're talking about adding two more 5 kilowatt batteries. I currently have three of them and that would dramatically increase the range currently have a rough range of 100 nautical miles if I travel slowly and that could then be improved to over 150 nautical miles which is truly impressive. On top of that I would put more of these solid solar panels fixing them on top of a strong structure on the back to just increase the amount of solar energy I can get each day. And these two things combined, massive increase in battery and a significant increase in solar energy would make the boat faster, heavier, therefore more stable. These improvements would make the boats heavier, but the top speed wouldn't suffer that much, maybe 0.1 or 0.2 knots because we're already reaching haul speeds here. The boat would need a bit more power to get up to a planing speed. But that is also very much possible if I would upgrade to let's say a 12 kilowatt engine and that I would definitely do in one or two years when all the battery and solar systems are improving at a rapid rate. Currently I have 6 kilowatts of propulsion and the top speed is roughly 8.5 knots, if I'm light. The generator. That's another option I've completely neglected and a lightweight generator would have made my journey south much quicker. But when I come to sunnier climates, I would never have the need of a generator. Instead I can have sails as a backup and put every single kilo of extra mass into batteries and solar panels. That's much better in the long run and it will increase the performance, reduce the backup capacity, but then again we have a sail and that's enough for emergency situations. So that's the beauty of this almost fully solar powered performance design. There's no need for a generator because you can optimize your sails instead. This hybrid approach is one that I'll definitely consider for my next 15 meter class. You can put moderate amount of sails on strategic positions to not block the sunlight and also not needing to have any ballast or very strong structures to support the immense loads that are normal for full scale sails. But these small sails, such as this six square meter sail, I usually have in the front when winds are favorable. They help the boat tremendously getting forward when you're low on energy. And I'm gonna improve this boat's sail to a eight square meter sail and also put one in the back to increase directional stability because having a single sail right in the front, it's not optimal especially not when you're trying to move headwind. Here I'm gonna show you some designs and numbers of the 15 meter class so you understand what I'm talking about with these optimized sails and massive solar surface as well as a low profile that will make traveling easy even if you have headwind and the center of balance will be kept extremely low to have a self-riding, super safe, super luxurious and stable ride. 
Overall, I'm very happy with the performance so far of the Helios 11 prototype. If you're interested to see the performance numbers, take a look at this video where I go through more of the details. I just look forward to upgrading this boat, increasing the batteries, increasing the power, increasing everything to create a super stable, solid boat that I can travel and explore the entire world with. Thanks for watching this mission log, stay tuned for the next one by subscribing and as always, don't forget to get out there.